and they're off. This is the Ollie McPhail's 1000th Racing to School National Hunt Novices Hurdle, and it is Starving Marvin who will lead them towards the first of the eight flights with head bowed over on the far side, Bad Boy de Paul Dieu. Then towards the near side is Air Horse One and held up. What's the scoop on this long run this afternoon to the first flight of hurdles? And it will be Late Nassible and Starving Marvin who will rise at the first flight with a lead of a couple of lengths. And down at the first is Air Horse One who jinked away to the right and he's unseated Noel Feely. The right as we were looking, the left for Noel, but it's uh, deposited him on the turf. And now the loose horse scatters the photographers at the next flight. Noel is just getting to his feet. He's OK. So they're coming up past us with a circuit to go. Starving Marvin leads the way to the unbeaten bad boy de Paul Du racing in second. And what's the scoop in third with the loose air horse one now scampering alongside them up the hill and a long run now before they cross over flight number three. And Starvin Marvin will go into the turn at the top of the hill. He just jinks away from the crossing, but he still leads by a couple of lengths, written by Lake Nassville, with 51 winners so far this season under his belt. In second, Bad Boy de Paul Dieu, bidding to continue the tremendous run of form of the Gary Moore horses here at Sandown this season. Joshua Moore in the saddle with 25 winners so far this campaign, and Barry Geraghty has had 26 domestic winners, together with his wins over in Ireland. He's on what's the scoop for Nicky Henderson, who saddled the winner of this race in four of the last seven years. Starving Marvin takes them now towards the first of the quartet of flights in the back straight. Led there by a length and a half. A little sticky at the back of the field. What's the scoop? Quite a short run now towards flight number four. Starving Marvin by a length and a half. Bad boy de Paul Dieu in second. What's the scoop? Last the trio. The leader wrapped the top bar. He got in quite tight there. Starving Marvin going now towards the fourth from home. Starving Marvin still leads the way. Jumped that one much better than he did the previous flight. Made a really good shape. Out in front by two now to Bad Boy de Paul Dieu, the Poe winner, in second place. And what's the scoop? The maiden still last of the trio. Going now towards the third from home. Starving Marvin comes to it. Bad Boy de Paul Dieu getting now to within a length on his outside, but he was the one who wrapped the top bar of the third from home. And still a break of a couple of lengths back to Barry Geraghty on what's the scoop. So they leave the back straight behind them. They've got around about five furlongs to go, but they've still got a half mile before they rise over the second last. And it's Starving Marvin who leads the way. Bad Boy de Paul Dieu is now been niggled along in second place. And now a break of nearly three lengths back to what's the scoop. So they're on this long turn. Taking them down inside the final three and a half furlongs. Bad boy de Paul Dieu tries to get alongside Starving Marvin. Still about two and a half lengths away is what's the scoop. Bad boy de Paul Dieu and what's the scoop are coming towards the near side. Meanwhile, Lake Nassville is keeping Starving Marvin right over, isolated in the centre of the course. He'll be right on the far side of the next flight of hurdles. So they race down towards the second last. Bad boy de Paul Dieu has checked out quite quickly and now it's what's the scoop who's going to be the big danger to starving marvin there was little between them as they got over the second last now a very short run towards the final flight bad boy de Paul Dieu is going to be pulled up before the last only two are possibly going to get home what's the scoop is at the last he stood a long way off it but he's over safely in second starving marvin who's stopping to a walk and now the leader what's the scoop has run out He's run right off the course, almost into the crowd, and Starvin Marvin, who is virtually walking up the hill, has been handed the most unlikely and most dramatic of victories. Starvin Marvin, who broke his maiden back in January of 2012, he has been very thirsty, an age between drinks, but he has handed a most remarkable win. Starvin Marvin beat What's the Scoop? I feel I should be doing a winning interview really with Barry Geraghty after that last race, but what's the scoop had other ideas? Barry, what happened? Um, he, he was fine through the race, had a good ride off him, and, but 
I pulled him wide in the straight and he jumped the second ass big. He was having a look and when he landed upsides, I knew he was having a good look around. He would jump the last big as well and he was having a good look. Now, I didn't expect him to do what he did, obviously, but the only thing I could say in his defence is the gate from the parade ring is after the winning post. And, you know, he's a big baby. It's a daunting place, getting tired on heavy ground. And I'd say he just ducked his head of her home. He, he knows his way out is to his left. And even though he's a fair bit too early, he was looking for it. I'd say so. I'd say so. Um, you know, and he is, it's only his third run. You know, he's, a big, he's, he's nearly 17 hands, so he, he's a big, immature raw horse, and I wouldn't think it was anything, you know, any real wrong in it, only just, I'd say, he was on front, and he panicked and ducked, and, you know, he thought, head for home.